Howdy y'all, DBD here. Um, this is a, I guess you could say, a very special video for me. Uh, this is actually the second time doing it. I originally recorded myself, but I was wearing a mask. I was trying not to show my identity, my face, for certain reasons. So, the problem with that one was, well, I was muffled. But, um... So, I'm recording this one. This is the one you'll hopefully watch in here. Um, it's about Trump. Um, like, well, let me start with, uh, in case watchers, listeners of this didn't know, I am a uh, gay man. Um, so, I have a very personal stake in this election. This horrible national nightmare. Um, I'm very frightened for the uh, future. I'm very frightened for gay rights and trans rights and just civil rights in general. A very dangerous, very bigoted, very hateful man has been elected to office. Not by the popular vote. People say America voted and showed that they wanted Trump. That is not the case. If you look at the popular vote, Clinton won by a landslide. It was amazing the difference between Clinton and Trump. I don't have the exact number difference here, but it was a significant portion. And so that's why I say America didn't choose Trump. The system chose him. The crappy electoral vote system. But what's done is done. He has been elected. Now, I'm not going to tell you to... I'm not going to say it gets better. I'm not going to say everything will be alright. Because I personally don't believe anything will be alright for at least the next two years, if not four years, if not six or eight. The problem is, it's not simply Trump. It's not simply Mike Pence's VP, a man who wants a constitutional amendment to ban gay marriage, a man who wants gay people who try to get married arrested. He's extremely homophobic, extremely antithetical to LGBTQ rights and civil rights in general, and he is a very dangerous man. No, but the biggest problem is the fact that Republicans control the White House. They control the Senate. They control the House of Representatives. They control all of Congress. They control the entire government. They have the majority. What you're going to see is systematic erosion and destruction of civil rights, of environmental regulations, stuff like Flint, will happen more. Companies, big corporations, will get free reign. This is the beginning of a long national nightmare. Now, the reason I am recording this is, I guess, to try to reach out and produce some sort of beacon of hope. I am asking you, do not go softly into that night. That horrible nightmare. Rage. Protest. Fight against this despot that is going to take office. This bigot who wants to destroy gay rights, LGBTQ rights. A man who hates Mexicans. A man who is very racist. A man who wants all Muslims to be registered, to be
be forced to show that they are Muslim. So for everyone to know as if they are some dangerous enemy. We've seen this in the past, both here in the U.S. and abroad. Most notably, Nazi Germany. But same here in, during World War II with the camps that Japanese Americans were forced into. These are the kind of things that Trump will bring about. He wants to build up walls. He wants to kick out immigrants. I have friends and family of friends, some of whom are undocumented, quote-unquote illegal immigrants. They are some of the best people I've known, some of the hardest workers, and they love this country. And now this country is going to betray them. Instead of being once the melting pot, this country is now a strainer, straining out everything that's unwanted. Immigrants, really, if you're not straight white, male, Christian, and rich, this is not your country anymore. Trump does not want your kind here. If you're not like Trump, then you're against Trump. And that's his view. In the description, I'm going to post a couple links. Um, also, check out my Twitter. I've been reposting, retweeting stuff about what Trump's followers have done. That's the problem. It's not simply Trump and this horrifying, disturbing Republican government. Albeit, taking hold in about two months, about 70 days. And <coughs> the problem is his supporters. I don't even know where to begin. Should I start at the black church that was burned to the ground? Should I start at the trans veteran whose truck was burnt to crisp? Should I start with the gay man who had a bottle thrown in his face? Should I start? With the Hispanic children that are being told they'll be kicked out. Should I start with the Muslim woman who was being told that she'll be soon kicked out? There are so many places I could start, just so much evidence to show how disgusting, how degenerate. These Trump followers are. And I will not hesitate to call them degenerates. That is calling them. That is being me being nice to them. They are disgusting, atrocious people. A vote for Trump is a vote against America. He says he's going to make America great again. Sure. I believe he will make America great again. For a straight, white, male, Christian. For those in Trump's likeness. For the rich and elite. People, you just elected a businessman. A greedy son of a bitch. Into office. You really think he's going to help? The working class help small town America. He's already bringing big business into his administration. His vice president is already talking about rolling back the LGBTQ civil rights Obama has tried to implement. Federal contractors can no longer discriminate against LGBTQ people, but now, thanks to Trump and Pence, that's gone. The whole issue of school and trans children use the restroom of their choice, that's gone. We're already seeing, seeing an uptake in racist, homophobic, transphobic attacks. And you're just going to see it continue throughout this presidency. We're not just rolling back gay rights, trans rights. Rolling back all civil rights. (sighs) 
as much as I may disagree with Pope Francis, I had to bring him up, bring him into this, because even he talked about saying we need to protect this earth. This is the leader of one of the most powerful Christian sects in the world. That's sect. S-E-C-T-S. And he's talking about us needing to tackle climate change. And all these Republicans claim to be good, wholesome Christian people. But they're not. They latched onto the idea of Christianity to win votes. That's it. That is the only reason. They are greedy. They do not care about people. They do not care about the environment. They only care about themselves. It is going to be a bad time for us. Let me touch on a few more things before I end this. First, to those who say, Oh, why do you protest? It's not worth the time. He's president. Just accept it. In the story. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. It is our fucking right to protest. And now more than ever is what we need. Some people say, don't protest against Trump. What we need is to change the system, the election system. Let me tell you this. Women did not earn the right to vote by sitting on their asses. African Americans did not win equal civil rights by sitting on their asses. LGBTQ people did not win what few rights we have by sitting on our fucking asses. So don't Fucking tell us to sit on our fucking asses and accept this. I'm telling you, go out. Protest. Fight against Trump. Now, not encouraging violence against him or his followers. Do as you will, but I do not condone that. I cannot condone that. Not in this medium. Not in this video. But I am telling you, I am begging you, go out and protest. In person. Online wherever you can and to those who say we're stupid for doing so go fuck yourself go sit on your ass go let your rights be eroded away because you are too goddamn fucking lazy to actually go and fucking do something you want the system changed you want the whole election system transformed protest Make a nuisance of yourself to the government. Be loud. That's the only way it's going to happen. If we do fucking nothing, if we just fucking sit here and hope and pray for change and say, oh, let's just vote in better people. There's only... For the numbers I saw, only about half of the voting eligible population actually went out and voted. That's why Trump is president. As one of the problems with saying, go vote better people in the office. It's easy to say that. But I bet most of the people who say that didn't go and vote. They just sat there in their fucking asses. I'm ashamed to say I did not vote. I should have, but I didn't. Even being in Texas, I still, I should have voted for Clinton. All of us who didn't vote, shame on us. Shame, shame, fucking shame on us. We should be fucking disgusted with ourselves. But we can make up for that. We can protest. We can fight tooth and nail against Trump. Call your representatives. Call your senators. Write. Call 
email, contact whoever you can for everything Trump does in his administration. Make him suffer. Make him have utter frustration. Make him prevent him from getting anything done. Make his tenure worthless. Make him feel unloved. Make him feel hated. And to all of you who fucking voted for Trump, he's not going to make this fucking country great again. He's not been great for a very fucking long time, and it's not going to be great for an even longer time. Especially if we have people like him in charge. If making a country great means discrimination, hatred, isolation, xenophobia, homophobia, racism, sexism, that's not a country worth living in. That's not a country worth existing. It'd be a country no better than North Korea, than China, than Russia. Again, I do not advocate violence. I just simply am saying we must fight against Trump. Make him feel unwelcomed in the White House. For all my LGBTQ brothers and sisters, we must fight for our rights, for the right to marry, for the right to use the bathroom of our choice, for the right to be who we are. We deserve to exist as who we want to be. I urge everyone, no matter who you are, fight against Trump. Thank you.